这个九九 reference， 九九九九 ，Oh my God， 九九 ，Oh my God， 九九 ，Hey YouTube， 呃、uh, ，What's going on in here？ This this is the the anime podcast where we're talking about JoJo. It's the only anime. Yeah, JoJo Siwa. Hello and welcome to TCR on air,、uh, the podcast where we talk about ev- anything and everything. I can speak.、Uh, I am your host. In Corona, also known as Ryan,、uh, I'm joined here with Spooky Bro, also known as Connor, TBD, also known as Brody, and for the first time ever in the TCR on air history, Goldem, also known as Emma. Hey. So, what are we talking about today? Well, these foolish fools of foolish foolishness thought that it would be a great idea to talk about anime, but um. What these foolish fools of foolish foolishness didn't realize is that、uh, <laughs> me and Connor sort of made some special assets of、uh, of ourselves. <laughs> oh, I did not know this. It's here on screen.、Uh, if you're on Spotify, I apologize. Whoa! Be- Whoa! Oh my gosh! I can see it. It's so crazy. It's so cool. Funny JoJo. Yes.、Um, so. This was really the only reason that we wanted to do the anime podcast is to troll all of you with the、um, the JoJo reference. So、um, thank you all for listening.、Uh, have a good day and good night. We hope to see you next time. We go on air. Bye. It's not even night. Yeah, to make sure that they think it's a real、uh, podcast, the next thirty minutes are just going to be silence. Oh、well, yeah, for a monetary. We don't have to record the actual podcast now. But anyways. Let's actually talk about anime because you know we're all weebs here. We all have some serious brain rot. Some of us have more serious brain rot than others. <coughs> Thomas,、um, ooh, let's talk about like what, what is everybody's favorite anime here? Um, I suppose I will go first because nobody else spoke up. My favorite anime、you. is Blue Exorcist. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, it's so good. Damn, yeah, I had like a whole freaking phase of that. I had a poster and everything. All of me, I don't have any much of it other than like one of the manga. Oh yeah, yeah. I um, I think Reno Kumura was my profile pic for a few months somewhere. I think I remember <laughs> that. <laughs> Mine、yeah. was on TikTok like that. TikTok. Um, I think my favorite anime was uh, it's not well known. Like I went deep into the anime hole, okay, but it's called Number Six, as in like N O dot six, and it has like these gay characters. But like, it's not about them being gay. It's about like this world where like they're controlled by the government and shit. It's pretty epic. <laughs> That sounds pretty cool. I think I've heard of it, but I had no clue what it was about. Yeah, no, you have to go on like weird sites like Kiss Anime and stuff. Of course, I was also kind of hoping you were gonna say, "Oh yeah, it's a really underground anime. You probably never heard of it."、Uh, I really <laughs> like Death Note. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good one. I like Real underground on though. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll go then.、Um, my favorite anime is probably a tie between Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And One Punch Man. Oh my god! Two very different shows. Yeah, One One Punch Man was really funny. I love that. Yeah, I like the change of like the super strong main character, and it's just literally、mm-hmm. he doesn't even have to try. Exactly. Hey guys, what do you call One Punch Man、uh, <laughs> when he eats a meal during the middle of the day? One、mm. lunch man. Damn! <laughs> What a good joke that was. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> aren't you? Aren't you glad to have me back, bro? I think we just lost all of our ratings. <laughs> we had ratings. Apparently, we're gonna get taken <laughs> off the air. Hey guys, what do you call one punch、no! man when he's doing an ab workout? <laughs> one、Love. one crunch man. Oh.、Uh, we want to go anyway. to the other animes that aren't exactly our favorites, but that we like. 
such as Jojo. <gasps> hey guys, oh, what if there was a bunch of the main character from One Punch Man? What would you call that? A whole bunch oh. man. Ah, is this gonna be the whole podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I kind, I kind of hope so. I'm not gonna have to cut out the whole podcast. This is just gonna be a two minute podcast. <laughs> oh my god! Two minute podcast. Oh, I could go on for days. Okay, okay. so we're gonna talk about anime we like. Yeah. Hmm, okay, wait. I'm gonna have to think of some names. Well, I like my yeah. cheesy romance ones. Oh my gosh! Wait. Ah, oh, I'm just scrolling through an anime site right now, seeing which ones I remember. And Noragami. Ooh. And you oh, feel like oh, that one? Yeah, I remember that one. I-, I found him like the main character pretty high. He had like blue eyes and like black hair. <laughs> yeah. Exy. <laughs> oh, his name was Yado, I think. Yeah, some something like that. Can't remember. Um but I liked the anime Kimi ni Todoke, and it was like a cute little romance one. It was pure just beautiful. I don't think I've seen any romance animes actually i made it through like four episodes of toradora but it hadn't gotten to the romantic <laughs> part yet toradora is so good you gotta finish it, I it's love it. Yeah, actually cute. You know, yeah, i didn't get very high cute. ratings of it but i guess i do have to finish it huh oh it is romance anime uh your name obviously Ooh. romance you... anime your lion april my third favorite anime i tried to watch that but like i <sighs> I could not. I watch it, like, every April as, like, a little tradition. Heart breaks every time. Oh. It hurts good. Oh, yeah. I missed it. I only heard about it in, like, June last year. And so I gotta Mm. wait till April to watch it. If if you try and watch it, like, any other month, um, it just doesn't work. Yeah, Yeah, your computer actually explodes. You, you you actually enter a coma up until um April and then and then you wake up again. Oh, Damn. good to know. Yeah, it actually gives you a virus when you open it. Although that may just be the site I'm trying to use to watch it. <laughs> Netflix. Are there also hot singles in your area on the website? <laughs> How would you know? Actually, it says hot single in my area. Incorrect. What? Uh. Whoa. I thought they only liked me. <laughs> Apparently, all all the single moms are cheating on you. God damn it! Okay, but can we just? Well, we're on the topic of romance animes. I said your name. Just any Makoto Shinkai movie. It's <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah. Call me by your name. This is a good <laughs> time to mention the list. I know that some of the oh, other. The list. The other goobers have said that they're very bad at watching shows, but um, I would, I I am the worst by far. I'm the worst offender. Um, this is confirmed by the power of which is called the, that I've dubbed the list. No, I'm so scared. I'm very scared. So, what is the list? It's it's a it's it's a bunch of shows and movies and just general stuff that I haven't watched. Like, it, it could be anime, it could be some foreign movie, uh, just stuff like that. And currently, as of today, it's it's a Google Doc. It's five pages long, and it has a total of 167 shows or movies that I have um, just on the back burner that I have to watch. Better do it now. I used to have a list like that, but it was, like, all the anime I've watched, but I could never, like write them all because I'd always forget the ones because I just like zoom through them. The list is just the compilation of just stuff I've heard on the internet that people are like, hey, this this is pretty cool, or my friends have recommended it to me. Um, I, 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 some of them are probably inappropriate. I haven't looked into them any further than just, oh, what is this? Is this other than the synopsis, I guess. Oh, <laughs> funny name. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have a funny name? Okay, I'll watch it. <laughs> I, I would say like maybe ten of them. I'm probably not gonna end up watching because they're bonk shows, bonk horny shows or movies. Oh yeah, Kanor. Uh, Is oh. there an anime you want to talk about? Yes, on the topic of odd bonk anime, 
Back when I was first getting into anime in, like, middle school, keep in mind, middle school, there was this sports anime, I put this in quotations, sports anime, called, I think it was Keijo. You want to know what they did in that anime? What? The way, so their sport was basically running into each other with their boobs. <laughs> Wait, I think I know that one. <laughs> yeah, it's the one you know that a uh, gif of like the um, the teacher uh hitting like a piece of chalk with her butt. Oh, I do know that. That's oh, where it's God. from. I think. Oh, okay. So it was very strange, and basically it was just following the protagonist. Like, I gotta get stronger and train my boobs <laughs> and butt. It was so, so weird. weird. I remember seeing an edit of that teacher, uh, that teacher clip where they, where um, real life Peter Griffin catches it and puts it in his pocket. And he's like, "You better try harder next time." <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Just a side tangent that you brought up real life Peter Griffin. Uh, in high school, I had a sticker printer, and I printed a sticker of real life Peter Griffin saying, "The only." N word in my house is Nachos Bel Grande, and we still yeah. have oh, there in the school. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still have the sticker printer? I still have the sticker printer. I could print, <laughs> I will print real life Peter Griffin again. Yes. Hey, Ryan. What? We should get stickers printed out of our um, icons. Yeah, true. That's true. Text me on Monday um, to remind me, and I'll see if I can print them and then bring them to you. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, uh, let's go. For, for context, um, this is on Discord. Like, this this podcast is on Discord. Um, Connor and I made special uh, special icons for for this specific thing. It's I am I'm Yoshikage Kira and Connor's Josuke. We've had yeah, this I was for wondering months. why it changed. Yeah, we, we've had this idea for months and months. <laughs> Because <laughs> Connor and I have done a few oh. stupid things like that. I think Connor, you were Dio, and no, you were. You, I was Jotaro. Yeah, and th and then I decided, hey, I'm gonna edit myself to be uh, Dio, and then it escalated. <laughs> and then a few months ago, we were yeah. like, hey, let's do part three. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, part I'll be right back. Uh, I, I meant um, yeah, because because th this is like we've had a few. Um, of these icon fights, I guess this is the third time now. So, like after yeah. the second time, we're like, "Hey, let's do another one." And then somebody mentioned that we would do the anime podcast, and since then we were like, "Ha ha, plotting." Yeah, we do a lot of that. We do a lot of pranking. <laughs> so that's just a yeah. bit of TCR lore, if you were interested. If 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 this is on, <laughs> or if you're on YouTube, we'll actually show the two icons that we've made. Indeed. Just put a screenshot of, like, us currently in call. Put it around over there. I'll put, put, put you know where I'm pointing? There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, understand. over there. Back to, the, back to the actual podcast, though. Enough lore. <laughs> do, do you have a specific bonk anime that you wanted to, to say? Cause I think oh my you, gosh. I heard you mention it before. Yeah, uh, I remember watching Darling in the Frank because I heard it had mechs in it and I was like, ah, oh, sick, mechs. But let's be honest here, no anime with mechs is good and this is no different. It It's a it's a bonk horny anime. And I hate to admit it, but after like 12 episodes, I did, I did like feel a connection with the characters. I was like, are they gonna die? Are they not gonna die? It started as like really bad bonk um, and then I got connected and attached to the characters, which I was ashamed of. <laughs> What's mechs? What? It's like those giant robot things, like... Oh, oh yeah, like... mechs. Oh, my God. M-E-C-H-S. Yeah, like Brody. H-S. I'm stupid. Brody's I... a mech. Yes, I'm a mech. I'm not I'm sure my, my brain didn't process that properly. I was just like, oh, what's that? I, th I thought it was N-E-X for some reason. You know, Gundam, Neon Genesis Evangelion... Neon Genesis. We should talk about Neon Genesis Evangelion. The funny hospital scene. 
<laughs> yeah, specifically the hospital scene. So you see, you've got to have a really high IQ to understand the symbolism in Neon Genesis Evangelion. Uh -huh. You know, you see the hospital scene. Okay, you know, I feel like the anime episode was doomed from the start when it comes to Bonk. Um, so you see, Asuka's in the hospital, and... <laughs> Okay, Connor just got banished to the Shadow Realm somehow. Speaking of Shadow Realm... I just found the anime Keijo that Connor was talking about earlier. <laughs> I can buy it for 99 cents on Apple or TV. Or you could pirate it. Oh, you or buy. I could pirate it. I don't want it. I don't want to. <laughs> Did you get cut off or was that a comedic death? That was comedic death. Ah, I see. <laughs> um, oh no. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Connor, how far did you get into this anime? I watched the Joe? whole thing. Connor. <laughs> Wait, which anime was it? Connor. Hey, Joe. What's wrong? I, one again. <laughs> I found it on the internet. And now I yeah. think I have to burn my computer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there are two people that exist in this world. <laughs> Those who like anime and liars. <laughs> Wait, what image did you find, Brody? All of them! <laughs> you looked into the images section, didn't you? I did! You fool! I should not have. Uh -uh. Alright, well, we're gonna, we're gonna exit all of that now. Whoa! <laughs> it's got a 6.7 out of 10 on the IMDB rating, and it's got a 91% user rating. I think it deserves a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Good yeah. to know. It was honestly, it was great. Like, wow, I just loved it so much. Normalize boobies. Yeah, normalize boobies. Like, I feel like in our society, anime boobs are frowned upon. Yeah, like, come on, natural body here. I mean, not yeah, really. Yeah, exactly. But... No, normalize boob dueling. Hey, not just the boobs. The butt. Wouldn't I'm looking that, through like, the comments. Though? Brody. I'm looking through the reviews of this now, and it's so funny that they're trying to like, <laughs> cover up the fact why they watched it. Two thumbs up. I like this. The sport itself is unique and fun. I enjoyed learning about its rules, techniques, and the battles are intense to say the least. The characters I liked as well. They seem to have their own personalities that you can clearly distinguish because of how different they all are. The animation is surprisingly good. And then it goes on for another whole thing but i mean the animation is pretty good but i can tell where all the budget went boobs <laughs> boob dueling did somebody say do 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 well 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 thought you could keep me away thought i wouldn't escape that's where you're wrong friends how pathetic Locking me away? And denying me access to the anime episode? Smart. You knew I'd be too powerful. Knew that if you let me talk about Yu-Gi-Oh, I'd be too strong to stop. Well, guess what, Team Code Red? I made it. This is my podcast now. And we're gonna talk about Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> so, when I was young, I was super into Yu-Gi-Oh. Not the actual card game, because I was too dumb to learn how to play it. But I loved the anime, mostly just because I was obsessed with Seto Kaiba. Still am, I'm sure some would say. Even though I never played the actual game, I did have a duel with disc that I would play with just because I wanted to pretend I was an amazing duelist. Which, by the way, are impossible to find anywhere as of 2021. They used to sell them at every single Walmart, Canadian Tire, Toys R Us, etc. Now the only place I can find them is Amazon for like $1,000 to $300. It's ridiculous! <laughs> So anyways, let's go to my Yu-Gi-Oh! analysis. We've got time. Starting with Duelist Kingdom. Okay, so we're introduced to the main character, Yu-Gi, and- Hey. 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 
Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm not done. I haven't even gotten to introduce Joey yet. Oh wow, sorry guys, I'm um, not exactly sure how we suddenly got hijacked by uh, Tangerin, also known as Aaron. Um, but uh, we are back, so um, yeah. Very strange thing, she she has been um, she has been captured, David did get her, she's in, in the dungeon right now to pay for her sins. I think that we should transition over to some of the bad anime that we've seen, because we were... We were <clears throat> talking about the, this bonk stuff but the bonk stuff doesn't seem to be very good hold okay just one more thing before we transition i'm still going through the reviews on this and this person reviewed keijo three stars the comment is i really enjoyed this anime and was sad and that was sorry and was sad and that it only lasted very shortly this could be a very promising series if they continued to work on it period I mean, using the breasts and bollocks for combat? That's genius! <laughs> oh <my God>. oh. <laughs> How is that? Imagine writing a serious review on this. <laughs> they used bollocks, oh my god. Bollocks. Sorry, you can continue now, I, just, I had to share that. So what are some of the bad animes that, we, that you guys have seen? Ooh. Darling in the Franks. Well, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> How dare you? Look, it's good because it's just absurd. But, um, genuinely, Watamote. Is that the one where that girl's, like, antisocial? Yeah. <laughs> that was so cringy. I got secondhand embarrassment. Yeah, like that. I. It was, again, one of the first anime I ever watched. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't finish it because of how just bad it was. It just, ugh, just thinking about it makes me cringe. Okay, wait, I got one. Diabolic Lovers. <laughs> I've heard of that one. Okay, like, it's like a really cringy vampire anime, and it's mm -hmm. just, the main girl is really stupid, and she gets, like, it's like, yeah, it has some, like, bad vibes, like, the dudes take advantage of her and stuff. And it's just, uh, reminds not... me of Vampire Night. Yeah, which is also pretty terrible. No vampire incest. I could say Ooh. that I hate Attack on Titan right now, and Code Red would be destroyed. Oh, I, I, yeah, don't, I love gonna, Attack on Titan. That baby. Very good. I have a little Attack on Titan bag. <laughs> mm -hmm. I used to mm -hmm. like it, but then I just. I know Ren doesn't really like Attack on Titan. Ren doesn't what? like Attack on Titan? Okay. I think I've had discussions with them about it before. Corpse Party. Um, although, although the game is good, the anime was very lacking in plot, and it just felt like a bunch of- so is horror. It just felt like a bunch of pure gore and nothing else. Is that the one where all the kids are there? Yep. In a okay. school. Like, they get their tongues cut out and stuff. Yeah, I haven't actually watched that before. It's only four episodes, I think. I've watched it multiple times. It's really not that scary. Mm -hmm. It's just a bunch of shock stuff. Yeah. The, the that anime, the, the anime adaptation also had a bad the bad ending, right? Well, one of the bad endings yeah. instead of the good ending. Yep. Dumb. What was that? What? What was that? Yeah, I'm what, eating. What okay. <laughs> What? Uh, oh, uh, that. Oh, okay. okay. That didn't sound I was good. opening my dip for my freaking deep fried pickles. Deep fried pickles. That a food wars reference. <laughs> Transition to food wars talk. Just kidding. I've never seen food wars. <laughs> I made it through about like three fourths of the first episode and was like, this isn't really about food. <laughs> 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 I was very disappointed. I hadn't heard any reviews of it. I thought it was genuinely just a regular cooking anime, and I was so excited. And then I was like, why are there boobs? <laughs> why not? Always have to have the boobs. It's anime. Yeah, bonk anime is not really my thing. I just, just give me a good fight. I mean, the heck there are bonk anime with good fights. That is true. 
I'm trying to think of other anime I've seen that were pretty bad. Yeah. Happy Sugar Life wasn't that great. Oh, I haven't even it's heard a, of that. It's um, a yandere um, horror thriller anime. Mm-hmm. And although I like how all the death scenes happened off screen and it just kind of left you to fill in the blanks, it was just straight up creepy. Because yeah. the kind of the main character, her kind of love interest, or not even love interest, just like kind of person who made her feel happy was a child. Oh, God. <laughs> she kidnapped a child. What the fuck? Yeah. Wait, I think I remember something like that, but I'm not sure. Like, I've watched some fucked up things in my life. Yeah, me too. The animation was really cute, though. Yeah. I liked the character designs. I liked the animation. I just didn't like the actual premise. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, one that ended up disappointing me, I might get hate for this, but, uh, oh, shoot. How is it pronounced? Either Bungo or Bungo Stray Dogs. I can't remember, but... Oh, I know that one. yeah. I, it just, it shifted so much. It seemed like the kid was gonna be the main character, because he was, like, all special Mm -hmm. and important, and then it just completely shifted to the other characters, who were cool, but I just didn't like how they formatted it. Mm Mm-hmm. If they had it, like, switched around where it was beginning as the other guys, and then shifted to, oh, there's this really cool kid with special powers yeah, yeah i don't know i wasn't i wasn't a big fan of it i watched a bit of that and I, I stopped because it got like kind of boring for me i don't i'm i'm really weird for that okay i find weird things boring but like i liked how mm-hmm. like it wasn't the main character like a have white hair or something ah uh, oh, jeez like, i remember they had like cool yeah hair. yeah 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 but, like, yeah, at least it wasn't, like, one of those boring, like, protagonists with brown hair and just, like, they all look the same. Yeah. What's the weirdest anime you've watched? <laughs> um, maybe Prison School? I don't know. It's not the worst, but it's, like, one of the weird ones. Yeah. It was I've funny, though. One. I watched all of it. It was really good. Boku no, Boku no Pico? I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> so no. you damn man. I watched the first episode of that. <laughs> Why? I'm not there. Oh, because I didn't know it was, um... Oh my god! I, like, yeah. Food Wars. Keijo is one of the weirder ones I've watched, but... Eh, it's not even really all that bad. Mm-hmm. Hello Kitty Gundam. <laughs> what? what? Can you explain that one? You heard me. Hello Kitty Gundam. Is that that was real? a thing. That is real? Sanrio did a collaboration with Gundam and they made a little animation for it. One of the it wasn't bad, but like it was definitely oh odd. Gosh. Here it is. Hello they've Kitty got so many figures. Yeah, they've got figures for it. Oh my gosh. I've been thinking of buying one because honestly they're kind of cute. I could get one for only $58.74 from Loblaws yeah, right it. now. Wait, Loblaws? <laughs> What's Loblaws? We're not Canadian. Yeah, free delivery. Actually, you know what? Let me look into this. Ooh, I just remembered another really funny but odd anime. Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt. Oh, I, I absolutely that. adore that one. Like, it's hilarious. The... <laughs> Comedy is really gross, but it's like it still fits well. Mm-hmm. I and like the character designs. Dumb. I love the character designs. Uh, actually, I I do want to say real quick. Uh, we did mention the whole icon stuff. Uh, some of you, if you're on YouTube, you might have noticed that my profile picture is Akari from Yuru Yuri. I, I that's probably not how you pronounce it, but um, I've never seen it, so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of ironic. A uh, is the wow. only anime I've seen. That's why I haven't said much. What? Listen, why? Th- why else do you think I have the list? Look, look, look. The list trademark is ones that you want to watch or should watch. It doesn't mean you've automatically watched them, which means you've got to watch some of them. Exactly. That's How are you I mean. the host of the anime episode if you've only seen one anime? I'm only the host because I wanted to do the funny show. Okay. <sighs> We're like gonna do the joke. Blind set. <laughs> so, exactly. Yeah, exactly. 
<laughs> not Sigma enough. Sigma. <laughs> Sigma enough. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows Sigma sit in their room at night and watch hours of anime on end. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say I watch anime. <laughs> Listen, I don't have. The okay, time. wait. I have a weird anime. Oh. Um. Do you ever watch Heaven's Lost Property? Nope. No. Yeah, there's one scene. Okay. First of all, it's all weird. There's like a lot of booby shots. This dude's lusting over girls. But then there's a one scene. Where there's like flying panties and they're like going into the sunset and then they're like cry their tears come into their their eyes and they're like watching them go. <laughs> Actually, I thought that's the one that Connor was talking about because I remember you, Emma, showing me that clip before. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me. I yeah. actually watched high school DXD on Oof. YouTube. Oh my god. <laughs> on YouTube. I think I watched was... a few on YouTube when I was starting out. Yeah, like, I heard about it, and everybody was like, oh, it's weird, and I was like, hmm, okay. <laughs> I was very gullible back then. Haha, <laughs> loser. I'm not a loser. Well, back then I was, but we don't talk about that. Yeah, me too. You know, when I started watching anime, I could not stand, like, subs. Like, I, I, I don't know, so for some reason, it just, I couldn't read yeah, them. Yeah, me too. Like, but now, I'm pro. I can do it so yeah. far. Ever since I watched JoJo, I've only been able to watch anime in subs. Mm -hmm. Speaking of gullible, that does remind me of that one time where I almost tricked Jill into searching up Zootopia Rule 34. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, was, it was like one of those memes that are like, oh, they, the um, blah blah blah, they, uh, Pixar had to animate in 34 frames uh, so then it, because it was easier. Uh, so they made a rule <laughs> that you had to animate in 34 frames. If you want to learn more, search up Zootopia Rule 34, and Jillian <laughs> almost searched it up. She had to ask Leaf what oh, Rule no. 34 was <laughs> before she did, though. Oh, how dare you. You know, because <laughs> Zootopia, my favorite anime. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of relevant, you know, like... Rule 34 yeah. is commonly associated with anime art styles. <laughs> oh my gosh you know what you've made me think of talking about Zootopia and what? about watching Easter. high school DxD oh. whatever it was called on YouTube um, one of my favorite anime series Sonic High School <laughs> on Sonic YouTube high I don't school? know if any of you have ever heard of it I know Emma has no, I'm gonna have to look it up again oh wait maybe you haven't like, uh, Aaron I had played it for us for some, at some point Wait, maybe was... um, Aaron knows what it is. Yeah, Aaron does know what it is. Aaron, if you're <laughs> listening to this I look right at the now, and I'm like, I have, like, really weird images right now. <laughs> it's it's the one with Amy at the front, the uh, playlist of 23. What a good, <laughs> what a good series this was. <laughs> to explain, um, yeah. Sonic High School is just a bunch of really badly edited um like a fan made Sonic at high school series. It's just like a love story, kind of, but it doesn't make a lot of sense and it's so funny. Highly recommend. It has how many parts does it have here? 22 parts, and each of them are like six to 10 minute videos. In the first season, I know there's like three seasons. Making Bank. Sorry, that was a little side tangent. It's so funny. Go watch oh Sonic God. High School on YouTube. Yeah, I see it now. I didn't expect that we would talk about Sonic in the anime episode. Though I guess... Well... There's, there's the Sonic animated show. Isn't Sonic... I think it was Sonic X or something. Wasn't that technically anime? I believe so. I'm not sure. At least it is in the Netflix anime section. I wish Sonic <laughs> Underground was considered an anime so I could talk about it here today. <laughs> Will we get copyright if I sing the entire opening theme song to Sonic Underground? Yes, do it. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as we said, the podcast is only two minutes long because of all the One Punch Man jokes. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> true. Oh, thank you so much for reminding me, actually. Uh, what do you call it when, aside from <sighs> the main character from One Punch Man grows old and get the uh, a really bad posture and gets a little bump in his back. You call him One Hunch Man. Uh, 
another one, another time. No. Ones in the back. You call him One Hunch Man. <laughs> if uh, One Punch Man was a drink, what would he be? <laughs> one Punch Man. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very, you know, I, I guess this is my fault for bringing it back up, but yeah. <laughs> we're, how far Let's are just we throw into, it the, back. into the podcast? We're only, we're only like 35 minutes in. We, we've already had like three different breakdowns because of awful jokes. Breakdown, breakdown. Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> back to the start. Does anybody have any other... D- or any notable enemies, anything that would be spicy to talk about. Have, have any of y'all seen Assassination Classroom? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying, man. I really like the anime where I did your mom. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like that one so much. <laughs> <laughs> the manga adaptation was better. I'm kidding. <laughs> Holy crap, me and Sonic X are the same age. Oh, wait, should I be saying that on the podcast? <laughs> Sonic X. I, mean, I don't think it matters. Really older than me. Yeah. It, it's Sandra Bird. Yeah, it's older than you, Connor. <laughs> no! Child baby. Just like uh-huh. how the Vocaloid Mako is five days older than me. How loser. Does anybody else want to, or have anything else that they want to mention? When it comes to anime, mm-hmm. actually, does anybody are there any upcoming animes that anybody's interesting interested in? <laughs> yeah, I agree. Oh boy! Oh yeah, there's Funny JoJo Part Six coming out in December now, right? Yep, on Netflix. But that's not the one I was going to talk about. You see, it's a little mobile game. <laughs> Project Sekai is getting its own anime series on YouTube. Oh, it's on mm. YouTube. Yep. Well, not yet. It's not out yet. It's kind of like how uh, the one you were going to talk about. By the time this podcast is out, um, it'll be. It might be out. Maybe. Hopefully. I'm Fingers not going to talk about. I'm not going to talk about my upcoming <clears throat> podcast. Uh, my... Talk about it. No, I don't want to get cyber. I will come to your house. I will be cyberbullied for. Why would you be obs- cyberbullied? I don't know. Um, one anime that's uh pretty decent is a uh, Future Diary. Yeah. I think that's number one on my list. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, I, I watched it a bit ago, and it was like I like the little aspect of it. What I didn't like was like I just hate the yandere genre. Like I hate so yandere. They fucking suck. That like it. I don't understand how anyone can actually enjoy. Um, yandere's like they're just so unlikable. Yeah, I know, and it's like they always like get their way into it, and I'm like, ugh, fucking stop. You know, um, there are like anime ASMR role plays, and like half of them are yandere's. Yes, I know. I try to look for a little calming one, friends, and it's just like yandere tries to kill you in your sleep. Exactly, or yandere kidnaps you. Yeah, like stop, please. And they always have the most views. It's honestly ridiculous. Like, I respect mm-hmm. the creators, but the fans are, yeah. like, insane. Like, who wants to sleep to someone trying to kidnap you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, to be fair, last night I did fall asleep watching BuzzFeed Unsolved, so... Oh, I love that. Oh, so yeah. you also fell asleep to someone trying to kidnap you. I just, I failed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Oh, I didn't know that. Where did you? How'd you find out where I live? Yeah. It's most mm-hmm. unsolved. My favorite anime. <laughs> Look, if they don't make an anime adaptation at some point, I'll be very disappointed. Man, can't wait for the Try Guys adaptation anime. Let's yeah. go. You're absolutely right. <laughs> I think I should do the obligatory Cory in the House, my favorite anime joke. <laughs> So yeah, there we go. Now now we have the full thing. We can now end the podcast. Just kidding. We still have a little bit Oh, left. we are missing something. Yo, I just had a pimple in my thigh. What? Yeah, I love that anime. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't get to say my upcoming. I don't actually know when it's coming out, but Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, whenever that's out, because Jujutsu Kaisen, best anime. Yep. Yes. Haven't seen it. Oh, oh um... Shit. 
Demon Slayer is really good. Yeah. Demon Slayer was really good. Like I, Ooh. I only watched. Like, did they come out with the second season? I don't know. I, I actually only I made it to like episode twenty three, and then I fell off for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. I just like the I like the uh, aspect of like someone's trying to hide something for so long. Mm-hmm. Um, I speaking of upcoming anime, I just remember that there's supposed to be a new Konosuba coming out. We don't know yep. if it's um, a new season or if it's like a reboot or something. All that we know is that there's another Konosuba. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've seen that one, right? Yeah, I forgot that that's I've seen mm-hmm. Konosuba and JoJo, but that's mm-hmm. about all the ones that I can remember right now. But I've never I, I never fake finished fake anime fan. <laughs> yeah, you're a fake fan. I never finished Konosuba and I never watched the movie. So yeah, this You never finished it? That's what he said. I like. will come to your house. <laughs> As you are. I feel like we could talk about this for like so many episodes. Okay. Should we cool. do the JoJo thing? What do you mean? The JoJo thing. Where we just read the entire script of every JoJo arc? Yes. I thought uh, Leaf suggested um, names. True. Like, we guess the names. Oh, that. Ooh, oh, I'm that's a good idea. Stupid. Yeah. That's a fun <clears throat> little game. Did you You're just say stupid, stupid like you? <laughs> well, I guess I'll... You'll do part one, I'll do part two. Me? I'll do part one? And we'll, we'll, we'll All do right. the even parts, and you'll do the, the odd parts. The odd? Is it because I'm odd? Yeah, you're odd. Shut up. Anyway. So, guys, or so everyone, welcome to the, uh, is this JoJo character's name real section of the podcast, where uh, me and Connor are gonna read out a bunch of JoJo characters' names, and uh, these two fools, Brody and Emma, are gonna have to guess if they're real or not. Connor will be doing the odd parts, and I'm doing the even parts, so we're starting off with fart one. All right. Is this a JoJo character? Um, so I'm going to say some that could be false, could be true, starting with Rigatoni Steven. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> I, oh, yep, yeah, it's a real name. It's yeah, I yeah, it seems kind of real to me. Wrong, it's fake. Come on, it. Oh, don't give hey, me I haven't like watched JoJo, so I don't know how the names are. I, I, I have avoided JoJo for some reason, um, <laughs> and oh, so I don't know anything that. about it really. But I'm so sad that Rigatoni Steven is not real. Rigatoni. <laughs> Okay. Hold on. Wait. Um, if I named my kid Rigatoni and they go by Tony, is yep, yep, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Anyways, continue. Um. Hmm. I gotta think. <laughs> Suddenly, I'm blanking on every single character in part run. Part part run. Run. Oh my gosh, that's like erased. How it's like you know this anime? Yes. Name one character. I can't. Yeah. Like, watch the anime, and it's so good. Yes. Name a character. I can't. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Um. What a Robert E. O. Speedwagon. I'm gonna uh, say no. Yes. Yes. True. It is a actual character. Yeah. He's okay. Black how and about Speedwagon? Yeah. His Speedwagon. Last name Speedwagon. Named after a band. Oh, see, that's yeah. why I said it wasn't real, because Ario Speedwagon. Yeah, he's named after like, the band. Ah, shit. Yeah, I heard some car stuff in there, and I was like, wait, I saw a car in JoJo once. And that, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Emma, when car. she sees a car, is that a JoJo reference? <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about Dario Brando? Yes, because that also sounds like Ario Speedwagon. Uh True, yeah. It is a character. It's Dio Ooh, Dad. Yes. Damn. Okay. Emma, we're so cool. I know. How about Will Antonio Zappelli? Uh, it seems to, uh, I don't, I'm gonna say false. 
Can you, can you say it again for me, please? Will Antonio Zappelli. Can you use it in a sentence? Will Antonio Zappelli um, is dead. Okay. No. Very fake. False. Damn Will it. Antonio Zappelli yeah. is a real character. Israel? Oh! I blame it on not Israel. Not enough sentence. Oh, how about how about Jack the Ripper? No, uh, no. <laughs> That's from Black Clover. No, Jack the well. Ripper was an actual serial killer in yeah, real life, I, but I he was in JoJo. Like, oh my god, I'm such a wait, weird. really? Oh my he god, Black Clover. Wait, yeah. and from real life as well. Jack the Ripper. How about <laughs> Soggy Dan? Yes, I know Soggy Dan. Yeah, I, yeah, I want to put Soggy Dan in there. <laughs> Soggy Dan is not a real character. <laughs> well, my dreams are crushed. <laughs> Man, keep giving us hope. Okay, I hope you're writing these names down so you can make your own manga or anime. Because I would watch it's my own any little show. spin-off. Even if it was a yandere, I would watch it if there's a character named Soggy Dan and Rigatoni Steven. <laughs> Dirty Dan. <laughs> Wait, isn't there a new JoJo part coming out? How do you know that? Yeah. Is... yeah okay. We're gonna write all these names down, and if Iraqi ever makes characters with those names, we can sue him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make hey, hey, make sure you trademark Soggy Joe right now. <laughs> soggy oh, Dan. Sorry, uh, Soggy Dan. Fake fan. Fake. How fake much Dan. Does it? Cost to trademark a name. Okay. Almost a thousand dollars. Should I say, should I say one it? more? Yeah, one more. And then, we'll and then to go to. Two. All right. I am looking. I'm looking. How about Tarkus? Tarkus? Tarkus. T A R K U S. Wait, T Tarkus. or T? T. T. You know, Tarkus. like the T you sit. For a second, I was or like, the like Grand Moff from Star Wars, but no. Uh, I'm going to uh, go with, Tarkus. yes, Tarkus. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll say true. Tarkus is a character. Let's yeah! Go. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you all did terrible, um... <laughs> Nobody was keeping score, so we'll just say that you <laughs> failed miserably. Exactly. Yeah, I don't think we got a passing grade. And you, you failed the JoJo Part 1 characters. Yeah, you... I'm so angry. On Jonathan's grave. Time for the JoJo Part 2 characters. We're gonna start with a strong one. Cars. That's it. Just Cars. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, Wait, their name is Cars? Yeah. I'm gonna say true, because I saw a car once in JoJo. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say true, because I saw a car once in JoJo. <laughs> Well, it is correct. There is, in fact, a, a character named Cars in JoJo. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm not. I'm not going to take a point for that one because I I snitched off Emma. I cheated off Emma for that one. Uh -huh. I got to be honest here. Yeah, yeah, that one's all. That one's all you, Emma. You take the point. <laughs> Dang. Smoky Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Does it sound like you just went to a paint shop and were like, hmm, this will be good for the podcast? <laughs> um, How did you guess the name of the nail polish I use? Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm going to go with no on this one because that has nothing to do with cars. Yeah, I'm going to go with false. Both of you are fools is a <laughs> real name. Smoky yep. Brown. So next we have uh, Greg Hefley. <laughs> <laughs> True. Just kidding. No, no, no. Greg No, I know Greg Hefley has his own anime coming out soon. <laughs> Uh, diary, future diary, was it? Is coming up. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, it's awesome. Rowley have dies. You seen, have you seen the Diary of a Wimpy Kid trailer for the animated movie? No. <laughs> it's not Wait. good. 
Wait, have Wait. you not heard of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid animated I movie? Think I've heard of it. Wait. <laughs> they shouldn't have done that. Ew! Yeah, right? <laughs> What'd they do to that? Shit. Okay, they but below there's so like cool. an edit of Roderick. Oh no. Where's the edit of Roderick? Damn, they did rally so dirty on this one. Sorry, is it Disney Plus? Sorry, is this a Disney original? <laughs> oh, it's a Disney. Can't oh, wait where? for Diary of a Wimpy Kit to come out on Disney Plus. Oh, oh my god. Sorry for the distraction there. No, he's not a JoJo character. <laughs> well, you are correct. They he's not a JoJo character. character oh my, you gave me a heart attack there for a second. I was like, I might have to watch JoJo right here and now. I'll just skip work tomorrow and watch JoJo. Can't wait for the character Greg Heffley to show up. <laughs> Well, um, unfortunately, uh, with that tangent, we are out of time. Uh, I was expecting to go maybe a, mit, a bit more uh, into the into the, the JoJo names, but um, yeah, as I said, we are out of time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this podcast. This was certainly a chaotic one, this chaotic two minutes, as we said before. If you enjoyed it, uh, do consider subscribing if you're on YouTube giving a like to the video. Um, we also have a website. We have a bunch of stuff on social media that you can go check us out on um, in the description of YouTube. On Spotify, we have a bunch of other podcasts as well that you can listen to. Uh, we do appreciate, we appreciate all of your support, you know, giving us your time to actually listen through this, this podcast. It's m much appreciated. And with that, we'll see you next time that we're on air. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye